for the readers of uh, Social Level Net. We are here with uh, Christophe Genisti. Good day, Mr. Genisti. Uh, today uh, we are at the IPRA uh, conference, regional conference. Uh, I would like to ask Mr. Genisti, who is a very well known blogger in France, but also is balancing the family life uh, with three beautiful children and uh, also his job as an online presence, uh, like as a blogger and also as an IPRA president. Uh, Mr. Genisti, could you tell us a little uh, more about how do you balance uh, your uh, personal, professional and online presence, so to say? Well, that's a, that's a good question. In fact, you know what? Technology is allowing you to do uh, that stuff very, uh, very easily. Uh, when you're uh, using technology, you can work from any place in the world. You can chat with anybody in the world. You can see your your family by Skype or you know that kind of stuff. And in fact, it, it gives you the opportunity to save more time and to and to take more quality times. Just to give you an example, this summer, for the first time in my life, I spent five weeks uh, on a holiday uh, and not really on holiday because I was working. But at the same time, I was in the in the south of France, in a wonderful region of Provence, and I was spending my time there. And you know, my clients didn't know that I was on holiday, didn't know that I was in Provence, because you know I could have been any place in the world. But I was working from there, which was obviously like a, a fantastic opportunity and a for, for fantastic surrounding. And you know, technology is allowing uh, people to develop a more qualitative life and way of living. And unless what, unlike what people believe sometimes, uh, technology is freeing people, is helping people to get more quality time and more quality life. Uh, is, he, is this your first time in, in Sofia, Bulgaria? No, it's my third time in Sofia, Bulgaria. I've been uh, visiting Bulgaria, I think first time was uh, five years ago. And it is, uh, it, is, it is a great country. I like uh, Bulgaria. There's a lot of energy and there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, yes, a lot of energy for public relations, for social media, for that kind of uh, uh, topics. And I'm very happy. The first time I came to Bulgaria, it was for a conference as well, and uh, where Maria Gergova was the president of IPRA. And she organized the conference uh, at the beginning of uh, February, I guess. And it was a fantastic conference. There were a lot of people, and uh, and I was I was even at this time feeling that Bulgaria was performing extremely well in terms of uh, developing public relations, developing communication. And uh, I, it's my pleasure to come back to Bulgaria. Uh, have in uh, the the theme of the conference is the power of communication in a world of change. Uh, could you tell uh, our readers at Social Live Net what your feeling is about uh, this uh, thing? I understand also that, uh, if I remember correctly, you you have established uh, 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 Sans Frontier, based in Sans Frontier, oh, yeah. which is an NGO organization, correct? Yes, in fact, what I, what I created, I created back in 2007. Internet sans frontières, Internet without borders. Aha, Internet is, without borders. Yes, that is an NGO right. uh, devoted to promote the freedom of speech on the Internet. Wonderful. And uh, the, the idea was, I created this immediately when I saw uh, some events in Burma, uh, where, if you remember well, uh, there were a lot of protests. At, it was in the summer of 2007. There were a lot of protests in Burma. And what did the government, they just cut the internet mm -hmm. line to make sure that international news agency would not see any more images from Burma. And then the emotion would decline. And I, and I realized at this moment that uh, the freedom of speech, the freedom of internet was something absolutely crucial and something that needed to be promoted. So I created an NGO and, um, and this NGO was there to to help people understand how important it is to uh, to protect the freedom of speech on the internet. And I do believe that internet is an agent of change 
and I uh, and I want it, it is really to be protected. Uh, thank you. Uh, I would like to ask also, what do you think about uh, the new PR profession? I put in that in brackets, but uh, in in regard to social media and online presence, and what do say PR professional has to know? Is, uh, does the profession change, and uh, in what way is it changing in the future? What What are your th thoughts about that? Well, it uh, public uh, social media has changed everything. Yes. The problem. Uh, is some PR professionals have refused to uh, to consider those changes because they were so comfortable doing PR like uh, 20 years ago because they knew their their friends their journal journalists they were dealing with journalists traditional media only and the life was good and they had some good money and they had some good fun and, and everything was perfect Social media has changed everything, and for some PR pros, uh, it it was it was a disaster because it was uh, the decline of their power, the, the decline of their influence, and in fact, uh, some of them didn't want to accept all those changes provoked by uh, social media. So now it's not anymore possible, obviously, to 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 to, to decline uh, the importance of social media. So it has to be everybody has to understand. Uh, what, he has, what it has changed and in fact it's not digital and this is what I will be saying in my presentation today it's not about digital you know PR has not become digital mm -hmm. PR has become social yes and in fact uh, you need to understand now what is the social uh, dimension uh, teaching you and how you can benefit from this social di dimension. So the big change today is not to understand digital, but to understand social revolution. Wonderful, thank you. And uh, as a last question, uh, I would like to ask, what would you tell the uh, social evo uh, readers? Can you uh, leave a message to them, your personal message to uh, the PR and uh, community in Bulgaria? Well, my message would be, if you want to change the society, work on PR. Because PR is an agent of change. And when you promote uh, uh, information, when you promote public relations, you give the society an opportunity to change. And in every society, uh, the change comes from a modern public relations industry. Thank you very much, Mr. Genisti. This Thank was you. all for the readers of Social Evonet. We will continue with other uh, people uh, that are present on the conference. Thank you very much. Thank you.